Hello everyone, welcome to How Much Can I Take? The series where I pick a game that I'm pretty sure will drive me crazy and play until I can't take it anymore. In this episode, I play Jumper 2, a platformer. A very, very hard platformer. I want to thank viewer Gravity Guy from the bottom of my heart for alerting me to the fact that Jumper 2 exists. Because the last episode I did of this series was the first Jumper. And I... I was blissfully, I mean, I'm sorry, I was, I was disappointingly ignorant of the fact that Jumper 2, and in fact, I think even Jumper 3 exists. And my life would have went unfulfilled if I didn't know Jumper 2 existed. It would have been so sad to go the rest of my life without this blight, I mean, without this wonderful gem of, of wonderfulness in my life. So thank you, Gravity Guy. Thank you. I love you. Uh, what the hell was I gonna say? Oh yeah, so um, why do I think this game will drive me crazy? Well, I'll just say this, I don't really like platformers. And if you go back and watch my first episode, uh, or the previous episode where I play the first jumper, um, you'll see why. Yeah, let me just put it that way, I don't like platformers, and this is an extraordinarily hard platformer, so I'm really, really not going to like it. Oh, um, this game is totally free, so you can punish yourself for no money at all. Yes! And in the description, you'll find a link to where you can play it for yourself and check out the developer's many other games. Keep in mind, not all the developer's games, as far as I know, are this punishing. I haven't played them, but I'm pretty sure the others, most of the others, are not this punishing. Okay. Are you ready to go? I can't wait. There's been new exciting changes since the first jumper. They've changed the controls. They've added new abilities. Some of them are actually for the better. Okay, one difference. Um, now you have to take into account momentum. Whereas before you had instantaneous movement with no sense of momentum whatsoever, you could instantly move to the left and then instantly start moving to the right. But now you actually have momentum. Look at this. Yep, you have momentum. This is especially noticeable in the air. If, you say, you jump to the left and then you try to go right, look what happens. Yeah, it's very, very different. That totally changes the game. And there's also a couple more things. Now you can do a super, uh, a sort of skid jump, which gives you a super high jump that uh, makes you jump higher than normal. If you, if you go to full momentum, and then switch your direction. You see that little kick up uh, of dirt? See that? Kicks up dirt when you switch directions. If you jump at that moment, you get a super high jump. So for example, if, if I wanted to get directly above me, I could do this. Super high jump, and if you don't do that jump, you won't be able to reach it. So there's that skid jump, it makes a special noise. And the other change is now you can wall jump. Yep, it's super meat boy all up in here. Look at this. Okay, that just those blocks, by the way, activate a tutorial thing, which pops up out of the window so you cannot see it and the game is currently frozen for you. Very strange place. For some reason, even though the game is running in windowed mode and is taking up maybe a third of my screen, for some reason, the tutorial box that pops up pops up on the top left of my screen, totally outside of the window. I don't even know. I don't even know how that happens. A windowed mode game where elements of the game appear out of the window. What? I... whatever. Anyway, I'm sure you're... I'm sure you feel horrible that you can't read the tutorial text, right? Yeah. This is one of those days where I'm just feeling very... I don't know, it just feels like I haven't ac accomplished much. Mu oh god, I can't talk. It feels like I haven't accomplished much. So, to de-stress myself, I thought I'd play one of the most stressful games ever made. Yay! Alright. I'm going to try to curse less in this episode compared to the last one. We'll see how that goes. Yeah. Uh, very little chance of that. Alright. See, I want to get this thing up here. Whatever the hell it is. Oh, I'm sorry. Whatever the heck it is. No, fuck that. I'm going to curse. <laughs> Whatever the hell this is. I want to get it, but I don't know how. If I combine a skid jump with a wall jump, it still doesn't get me to it. Look at this. 
Okay, that didn't work. I've gotten almost to it, but not quite. Yeah, the wall jumping, by the way, does not actually allow you to gain height. If there is not an adjacent wall very close to you, watch this. See, look at this. You keep falling, but as soon as you hit a wall on the other side, it pushes you back soon enough that you can actually gain height. Look at this. See, gaining, gaining, gaining. But if you are... Oh, shit. Uh, just kill me. It's faster. But if you're here, you won't gain height. You need something... To... It's because of the momentum. You need something to kick off of to return to the wall soon enough to actually gain height. Let me try this a couple more times. You've got to be able to do it. I'm just... Ugh. Come on. Oh, whoa. Holy shit. I think I actually just, like, almost did it. Ugh. Nah, fuck it. Whatever. Who cares? Alright. More tutorial blocks. I know what uh, this first one says. This is actually why I stopped... Oops, my mouse is in the screen. Sorry. Does it annoy you when my mouse is on the screen? I'm gonna leave it right in the center of the screen for the whole series. Look at it. The mouse will be there forever. Enjoy. I always this tutorial block say? I think I've already read it. Ah, oh, the golden arrows, yes. Golden arrows do the same thing that they did in the last one. Light double jump. Is the same old blocks that just fall. Okay, I'll move the mouse. Haven't read this one. These are the gems. There's one hidden in each stage. Finding them is optional. On the map, a stage will appear white if it is unbeaten, green if it is beaten, and teal if it is beaten and the gem found. If you die after getting the gem, you'll have to get it again. You only truly get it if you finish the stage after finding it. There's also a red gem hidden in each stage, and finding it will make the stage appear red on the map. But how to find them is up to you to figure out. They're optional, so in other words, I'm never going to get a single one because I don't give a shit. Yep. Never going to get them. Don't care. That is for the true masochists out there. I'm not quite that much of a masochist. I'm good. I will go without. Actually, hold on. Wait a minute. Can you... Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I've just discovered something. Ah, I can't. I think you might be able to get a super wall jump if you do this a certain way. See, to get a wall jump, you need to be holding up. Or you, you need to be holding the direction of the wall that you're trying to jump off of. And then you need to press up, which is the jump key. So if you're bouncing between walls, I think if you hold right and then jump and then left and then jump and then right and then jump as you hit the walls, I think you can actually get a lot higher really fast. But actually trying to coordinate that is extremely difficult. I, I, I can't. Alright, what does this one say? Time trial mode. Whenever you beat a stage, the game records the time. I don't give a shit about time trial. Fuck that. Se oh, se <clears throat> Seriously? Seriously? Okay. The reason I failed that, by the way, was because of the momentum. Not used to that. Okay. Really gotta get used to the home, to the the I can't talk. Oh my god, this is off to a bad start. Really got to get used to the momentum. There, I formed a sentence. I am proud of myself. Are you proud of me? You should be. If you press down, Ogmo will duck. It is up to you to find ways to make this useful. Wait, you can duck? How... Why would that ever be useful? It allows you to duck by, like, two pixels. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful. I have to say, the wall jumps are extremely uncomfortable. I don't feel like I'm in control of the character at all when I jump from a wall. I... Uh, Jesus Christ. 
Okay, those look like snow blocks. Do you slide? Yes, you do. Of course. Or, I guess they're not snow, they're probably ice. Ice not only makes it hard to move around, but also prevents Ogmo from getting enough traction to perform a skid jump. Oh, okay. Good to know. All right. Where am I going? Oh yeah, it's those jumpy things, all right. Hold on, there's a gem down there. But it won't allow me to stop jumping. Can, can I stop? Can I go to the right, please, and stop jump? Oh, fuck it, whatever. You can press escape to return to the map. Also, if you haven't beaten a stage, beating it will automatically take you to the next stage in the, in the sector, but if you can quit it, whatever. Most of it's super obvious stuff. Alright, slip and slide. Okay, so as soon as I get to the next platform, I'm going to keep sliding, so I need to keep going. Alright, I think I need a wall jump here. Jump to the next platform, jump to the wall, and then jump on the wall on the left, and then, oh shit, this is gonna be hard. Oh boy. Oh, and I overshot it. Good job. Let's try that again. Well, this is off to a good start. Oh my god. <sighs> Let me just say that the controls for wall jumping are not... good. They're not good. I feel like I'm not in control of anything that's happening with my character. And feeling that like you're not in control of your character in a platformer is a bad thing. If you're wondering why I'm struggling so much, seriously, download the game and try this for yourself. For just like a minute, you'll see. Like, okay, okay. that worked somehow. Okay, um, double jump, fall, jump again. No, 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 oh! Okay. Great. <sighs> oh, look, I just noticed! Look! These symbols here. They randomize each time you die. Decode them all! Look at it, it's gonna change, right? Yep. Changed again. Contained within those symbols is probably the secret to the universe. Actually, they're probably just random shit. Oh, oh my god. Can I please get through stage 1-4? How? I don't... What? What? I can't fucking control my character. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not supposed to curse. I can't motherfucking control my character. I... What the fuck? I, how did I just, like, triple jump? I don't even know what just happened. Seriously, if, again, if you're wondering why I'm struggling with this so much, play it for yourself. It is horrible. The controls are horrible. Okay, so I can jump, and then double jump, and then wall jump. Actually, wall jumping wouldn't help. Can I jump high enough? No. I can't even jump high enough. Okay. I can't skid jump. No. Fuck! <sighs> I think I see what you need to do. Maybe? Yeah, I think I see it. Yeah. Shit. This is not going to be easy. I need to keep my momentum throughout this entire thing. Like that. There we go. Okay. Now I just need to fall and just use one jump. Just fall. Just fall. Okay. Okay. Good. No more ice. Wonderful. 
And we're back to my favorite thing in the entire game. The electricity things. I really hope there's another electricity maze. That, that was so fun. Remember? Do you remember that room that took me an hour to get through? Do you remember that room? I remember that... Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't curse. I remember that... I remember that dang room. Hmm. What the hell's above me? Why is there a double jump above me? Shit. Okay, those fell faster than I thought. Let's try that again. What? Oh. Okay. Oh, that's why it's up there. It's so you can survive when you come down. Good thing is, I don't care. Hmm. Okay. So you come around, you go... Oh, I see. And let me guess, I need to skid jump to get up here. Of course you do. I'm not going to make it here, right? Nope. No way. Gotta skid jump. Do I even have enough room to skid jump? Maybe if I get really close to this? Of course you... Oh. If I just kept, kept holding right, I would have made it. But I didn't. Really close. Not that close. That's too close. That is also too close. That... <laughs> that is also too close. Please. Thankfully, you have finer control over your character this time. Okay. Good. Okay, hold on. Wait a minute. How do I do this? If I go straight out, I'm just going to go down. If I jump immediately, I'm going to go up and zap my head. So I'm either going to zap my head or my feet. Unless... Unless I wait. I need to go out. I need to go out, wait a little bit, and then jump. Go out, wait, jump. Nope. And if I jump when I hit the wall, I'm going to do a wall jump, which is not going to work. Oh, shit. What the hell's going to happen there? Okay. <sighs> By the way, I can pretty much guarantee you I'm not going to last as long as I did last time. In the first jumper, where I lasted, what, two hours? Yeah, that's not going to happen. I've been going... Oh god, this is only 19 minutes. It's only been 19 minutes. It feels like a lot longer. It feels like a lot longer. <laughs> hey, I like the music, though. Gotta love that MIDI synth. I can't go that low. Okay. Ah, that worked. Right, so just go over. And... Oh, that's close. Um, can I just double jump to that? I'm going to need to get to it, obviously. Use it to jump up and to the right, and then I need to wall jump all the way to the top. But can I actually get to it? It seems too far. See? I was testing to see if I could skid jump on that little patch, and I went too far. And then I did a bunch of shitty... Shitty wall jumps. The wall jumps in this game are so poorly implemented that you it, you don't feel like you're in control when you want to use them, and you accidentally use them all the time. It's horrible. I wish this had not. I wish they had not added any features at all. It is literally worse off for having the wall jump. 
I wish it did not exist. Okay. Can I skid jump? Yes, yes you can. Do I need to to get he here? Well, okay, we're not gonna know unless we try, so here we go. I actually overshot it. No, you do not need a skid jump. I love how it's like your character is made out of a balloon that is constructed out of like one atom thick rubber. And as soon as you touch like a molecule of the spikes, you pop. Okay, don't overshoot it. Fuck! I mean, dang, damn it. Alright, I'm getting this first part kind of down. That? No. No. <laughs> I don't want to play. I already don't want to play. It's only been 23 minutes. Why am I doing this? Why? Why? Not even close. <sighs> I'm trying to think of what I need to do here. Well, let me get over there first. I need to do something different. When it comes to getting that last, uh, the arrow in midair, I need to hit it at a different angle. Uh, let me explain, though, once I'm not trying to get past this fucking section. Why do I keep hitting the same spot? Why? I want to know. Okay, well, I hit a different spot. That's better then. And now I'm hitting the same spot. Okay, slightly different spot. I hit, I hit a top spike instead of a side spike. Cool! I love the fact that the game still hitches when it loads a new music track, or loops the music track, or whatever the hell it's doing. Wonderful. What the fuck? Okay. You can't just hold right, you need to wait a little bit. Got it. I understand. Alright. Here's what I'm talking about. I need to hit this from... Oh, I can use my mouse. I need to hit this from a different arc. I'm hitting it like this. I'm going like down. So when I hit the wall and I do a jump, I'm only going to get up to like here. But I need to be able to hit this wall to use the wall jump effectively. So I need to, instead of going down like this, I need to be hitting this thing at an arc like this. So that I'm actually further up on the wall. So I can't be hitting this on a down. If I'm hitting this on a down, I'm going to be too low. And you hit it on an up. How do I do that? I don't know. I 
I, I don't know. All right, well, I think I need to shoot longer, so let's do that. And I waited too long. Fuck. It might work, though. I'm going to try it again. Nope, there's that momentum. That would have worked in the old game, but I didn't have the momentum to keep going right. Got to build it up. There we go. I got this part down. Might need to use the skid jump. Oh my god, I almost died. But I can't really use it here. No, I really can't use it here. You can only use it when you reverse direction. If I reverse direction when I'm going back this way, then the extra height isn't going to matter. If I reverse it when I'm going this this way, then, well, it's I'm going to be jumping the wrong way. So, no. I seriously pressed jump. I... Oh, that's right. The game runs at 30 FPS. So your controls are not particularly responsive. You can hear me pressing the jump key. Listen, look at how fast it responds. <sighs> Nothing like a... a laggy platformer with a terrible character controller. It's the best! It's not like the controls and the responsiveness of the character is the most important part of the entire game. Nope! Gotta do everything early! But not that early. It's another world all over again. Where I have to start jumping before it switches screens because it's so laggy and runs at like 15 FPS. Except this one is running at 30. So it's a bit better. Okay. How, how the fuck? I don't get it. I, I don't get it. I think I hit it at the right angle, but I just... I don't get how to get up there. How do I get it up? I don't understand how to get it up. That's not a euphemism, by the way. Nope. All right, fuck it. I'm just gonna just go. Oh, that was close. It can be done, but it can't be done when you do that. Nor can it be done when you don't have momentum in the correct direction. That doesn't work either. And hitched again. That's wonderful. And I died again. That's even doubly wonderful. Can I get a double wonderful multiplier to my score? I think I need to jump as soon as I hit it. Yeah, I think I do. I can't wait. I press jump before I hit the ground. It's the unresponsiveness again. When you hit that point where you start dying on stuff that you've practically never died on before. That's a bad point. It's when you start regressing. Ah. 
Oh, I didn't hit it instant. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, fucking hell. <sighs> Do you know why I messed it up again? Because the wall jumping controls are absolutely horrible. Let me try something. I'm gonna try playing with two hands. It might actually work better. Never mind, it works horribly. Trying to hold the direction of the wall you're facing in and pressing up to jump is fucking horrible. Somehow they've actually managed to make the controls worse than the first game. How? How do you do that? They were horrible to begin with. <sighs> Here we go. Here we don't go. I pressed jump like half a second before I hit the ground. I did. I swear I did. What what am I doing? I didn't even skid jump. What the fuck? <sighs> I'm not even thinking straight now. Come on. Come on. I'm now going to not even use words for the rest of the game. Uh, 
And, uh, Ha <laughs> 
No more, no more, no more, no more, no more, no, 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 no. I'm done. I'm done. I lasted about 45 minutes. I'm done. Oh my god. Fuck this game. Fuck, fuck everything about this game. It's even worse than the first one. How can you be even worse than the first one? No. No. Hold on. I think I can sum up my feelings about this game through song. W yeah, I think I can. Let me let me come up with something. I'll be right back. Hello everyone. My voice might sound very very strange and that's because the microphone is on the ground in front of my amplifier and I'm talking to it from above, so it's probably going to sound really weird. Okay. I created the perfect piece of music to describe my feelings about this game, and it comes it is an epic told in three parts. This first part is called Life Before Jumper 2. Alright, this second part is called My Life During. Jumper 2. And the third part of the epic is called My Life After Jumper 2. Alright, I hope everyone enjoyed my epic. Goodbye.